Good evening. Hello, Molly and Ziv. Wimbo. We've got this dude. For however long he lasts. Oh, I've got a load of chicken. I need to do some cooking. This dude's the, uh... The silent dude. I need to cook and I need to drink. Well, I don't actually know where I am. Okay, I've got water. Sound close. Let's go the other way for now. He's uh He's full on suppressed. We've got the crossbow. We've got the glock suppressed. And we got the deagle suppressed. And we got a Winchester suppressed. I thought that was Silent Bastard. <laughs> oh, hold on a minute, we're three minutes in and I'm sworn. That's me demonetized. Hey Merv, thank you for the resub. This feels like the coast. What the hell? How can it be the coast? Do get some eyes on something that uh, is familiar. This should be familiar. Oh my god! I'm at I'm at I'm at, uh, at Zelly. We don't want to be at Zilly when I'm in the middle of the open field. There's a there's a face house over this way. I can go and cook there. I can't, I can't work out where the shots were, relative to it. where I'm going now. They could, they could have been this way or they could have been that way. Hi there, Jack. These two should be switched over. This is kind of my, uh, should be my go to. 
So I had opportunity to run uh, an AR with this this character, but I want to keep it fully suppressed. That AR didn't have a suppressor, so. I'm almost in bear territory. That doesn't actually catch me out as being a bear. Thank you, Mongo. Thank you for the prime seven years. Good evening. Hi, Robin. How's it going, Aaron? Seven years. Holy shit. I've, I've got myself a little bit... Not lost. But I don't go to this house very often. Just slightly misdirected. There it is. It's popular for bases, so I'm going to scope it out first. There used to be a there used to be a server like that, but it as as with any mod or map, often it can be really popular, and then 
popularity can drop off as fast as it's gained. And I, I feel like that's what happened with that one. So I don't think there's a server up like that anymore. Right, I've got matches. I've got lighter. Oh, I've actually got some food here. Michael, thank you. Probably should knock a few more bolts up. While waiting. Those shots are quite close. It's not going to go far, this chicken, but it will get me get me into white and keep me going for a half hour, maybe.
Lovely bit of dried chicken. Right. What is it that I need? Some bits I still need. To clear of that fire. Have a look. I'd like some better bolts. But maybe the summer camp is the place to go. Another mag for the deagle would be sweet. I'm hearing a lot of shots. Gotta get over there, really. Hi, DM. Hello, Rob. Yeah, I mean, I could go to Zilly, but I'm not so sure as I want to put this guy on the tower. He's uh, got a bit of history. Needs to write a little bit more to make a decent vid and then go out in style. Hello, Red Eye. on the edge of the map soon. How long? Um, it's usually four to five hours my streams are. Four to five, not forty-five, obviously. Oh, Strider.
I'll tell you what, we should top up with water. Hello, well, I tag. Hi, Bearhead. It's a good route, this side of the map's, um, it does see a little bit more action now, though. People are aware of the treasures that are over here. Especially Mishkino, I feel. Mishkino's really... The draw of Mishkino, to, to me, the way I see it, is that it's, it's, it's almost always a free plate carrier. work this down a little bit, weight-wise. It looks to me like everything I've got I need. Press vest obviously is uh, a bit heavier than... Stab vest that I would normally have. What we have to, it'd be nice to get some proper bolts rather than the crafted ones. And a deagle mag. And probably a pair of black tactical gloves. So I'm thinking maybe we go hug this stream all the way, or this river all the way up to the dam. Overwatch summer camp up that way. Maybe have a quick peek into Mishkino. Summer camp might have the bolts. Uh, have I been around long enough to spawn all this lot? I guess I have. Love Daisy, but you don't play it yourself. I, I, I'm started to take it into watching some. Um, I've been watching a bit of Tarkov. I don't play that, and I've been watching a bit of um, Company of Heroes, and I stopped playing that a while ago. I still like watching both games. I have played in the past, though. Set over by the barn. I reckon we're inside. Oh, that's another thing I need. Rangefinder. No, I reckon we're inside the spawn for it. Could have quite a wide radius over there. Ah, there's a there's a base. What explain the zombie?
Oh, I'm thinking that one's actually further than 400. Sweep round to the other side. But there's a whole other section to this little settlement just up there. And if someone's feeding off these buildings, planting the stuff back in that base, could be anywhere. They're not forced to be pulled up in the base, of course. Hi, John C. the other bit. I thought there was more of this more buildings. Might be the other side of those trees. Could get another look to see if that zombie D sports. Not here. I don't see it. If we move a bit further across, we get a better view. Really? Yeah, I thought it was split into two, and I thought the other half was the other side of those ruins, but I must be wrong. I mean, the village is split into two, I was just at the wrong bit. I stride over YouTube.
Yeah, well, there's a section of houses that runs down. That's where I met that gilly dude. And there's also, it sort of splits the villages into two. Uh, well, I guess it was me that spawned the zombie because I don't see anything. It did look like it was further than 400 meters away, though. Uh, powder. Still kicking off over in Zelly. We'll go there later after having no in, no no encounters at all. Be dead. Oh wow, that food didn't... Uh, I didn't eat it all. So that food didn't last long. Stalker? The game stalker, or the map stalker for DayZ? I mean, I don't play either. I could just say no. not been alive that long. It's like only been alive for a stream. This is the second time I've played the character. It's only about four hours. You know, I mean, if they didn't have people that were cheating on the official servers, then I could make characters last for months just by playing cautious, not taking any encounters I don't want to take. You, you're going to have exceptions where you get someone jumps you, can't win everything. But I really, you know, I can, I can certainly make a character last a long time. Hi Jojo.
I was going to play it. I think that's the server I was going to go and play on, but it had Dark Nights, so that kind of killed it for me. Hey, Ziggy. I gotta get ya. So this is where I wanted to go to. And it's strange to loot this place wanting crossbow bolts. And also wanting crossbow bolts in good condition. But that's what we're after. Doesn't look like there's anyone there. There's no zombies there anyway. Range finder would be great as well. Not the mouse, no, it's Chinaris. You mean you'd hate it IRL? Or you wouldn't want to go here in the game? Well, uh, yeah, I mean... You're on top of each other as well, aren't you? That's the main problem, I think. But I think that, that zombie's just spawned off me. I think you would look at it as being... Like the people here are having... It'd be a, quite a good holiday vibe. Or you'd hope. That would be loads of screaming kids.
Mikey, thank you very much for the prime. Appreciate that, thank you. Uh, water tablets, bolts, new gloves, rangefinder. That's the shopping list. I mean, do I take that and put it on this gun? I've always said this shit. Did I hear zombie? Melee. No, I don't think I did. An ultimate we are. Hi. Are you telling me that you can use your Amazon Prime for a free sub? I am telling you that, Powder. I'm also telling you that you can link it up. Go into your Amazon account, link it up to your Twitch, or go into your Twitch account and link your Amazon up. And then you can offer up your Prime, take the money out of the person that owns Amazon's pocket and put it into a streamer's pocket. And I can guarantee that the person that you put the money, the person's pocket you put the money into, appreciate it more it's the end of the advert Ooh. pristine baby wasn't expecting this sort of upgrade Uh, no, I just lost my connection. I must have spiked above two, three hundred, whatever the limit is on the server. But as you saw when we came back in, there's a there's a queue to join. The server's busy. The server's full. It's the highest concentration, I would say, of hunting gear on the map. Bring out the uh, clock, man. <laughs> yep, 
Yep, all doors open, no food. Doors are hunting scope. Might have respawned since the person that came here cleaned this place out. Uh, if I if I find a map, I'll I'll show you whereabouts it is on the map. I check the car park if I'm after specifics, which we are, so I'll have a quick sweep through. But it can be good for food. It's pretty open though, off that hill. Yeah, loot was terrible there, but that's going to get you said over on Twitch. The uh, place looked for all intents and purposes like it had been looted pretty recently, I would think, with there being no respawns of loot. But all the doors on those chalets, much like all the doors on a lot of the houses, are, are randomised. So if you go there and they're all open, or if you go there and they're all closed, someone's closed them up. Alright, I'm going to have a peek at Mishkino. I don't think I need anything from there. I'm not going to loot it just to try and get some tactical gloves. I'm not that... I'm not that desperate to look... Uh, hundred percent blacked out. Well, I won't be, I suppose. I've got the blue... Rest vest, anyway. Oh, wow. This is weird. No, I think it's, um... I think my missus is probably streaming some Netflix bollocks.
So I got a shroom. Got a shroom to our name. It doesn't feel quite right. I was only cooking 30 minutes ago. But it was chicken. The five bits of chicken. I having a KFC. You're hungry after 50 minutes. I didn't really think about it, fishing hook. I never fish when I'm off the off the coast. So many resources for food. I know it is one of the best. I can be a bit twitchy when I play and I don't really like standing over a stream like that. The hot bar's not working. When I come back in, the hot bar's not instantly working. Closed for the month. Nice to be able to have a business that you just shut up for a month. We're off back to China. Having a month off. Is it like the Chinese is here? They only take cash. Screw those bank charges. Stopped it and now you're behind. I can't really help you. It'll have to be some text help you get. If someone can uh, suggest to Strider just to F5 the page, it should sort the problem out. Or move the slider bar along. Was it actually a restaurant then, rather than a takeaway? Or a combination job? What's he doing? He wants to get off that tent, doesn't he? See him, he tried to run off it.
Um, well, they can spawn inside the tents and then suddenly teleport up to the top. Must be a placement issue. There was some movement over there then. That's a zombie, it's okay. Well, I guess we're going to kill a deer. Right in the open there. They could be using the crossbow for this. Good thing about this is if I miss, it won't scatter. <laughs> Handy that was, wasn't it? This has gone here. So annoying this is. Probably annoying because my scroll wheel is a bit buggered at the moment. Uh, yeah, you can't have got it cooked up enough. Or you ate, you ate it and uh, you didn't notice the stomach symbol being full in the corner. It's a symbol that comes up just here when you get full. If you continue to eat, you'll throw up. Used to be that the fat was the best, the best thing you could eat in the game, but it's not. It's, it got nerfed quite heavily. <clears throat> it's not anymore. It's still worth having, 
but the, there were a couple of bits of fat down there on that, that animal that were a very small percentage. It's always worth taking. If you don't have the space to carry everything, have a look at this bar along the bottom. Take all the choice cuts, the ones that are full. Hello, lime. Hi, copy. Today. I put, had that big shopping list for the summer camp. I don't think I got anything. Box of 308, yeah. I, I wasn't really needing that. <laughs> Dodgy, this door being closed. Smoking or cooking, which is the best? I mean, I, I always have them both going. You'll end up... Um, with more fried stuff than you will smoked.
But that is the correct answer from DM, yeah. If you smoke it, it takes a lot longer for it to go off. But you get more out of uh, bait, as it's called, as it's calling it here. And, and smoking, yeah, it's, it's as well to have them all sat on the rack there, smoking away, because they do quicker. Like when these two, these two will do quite quickly now. And when they're done, those two will be done. It's actually the perfect number. Eight pieces. Now you're cooking. Hold well on, you got up to speed. Loot Mishkina. Try and get this second uh, mag. Yeah, the downside to that is there's not a huge number of tier 1 hunting spots. There's a few lonely houses though. You know where they are. It's a dirty spot up here. But you do skyline a lot if anyone comes along. You just toast. Wolves live out here as well. Town looks empty. I might use the deagle here. So satisfying to use this gun. I've got plenty of deagle ammo. But I suppose it is essentially my go to primary. How many rounds do I actually have? Uh, it doesn't say what's in that box. 20. 20 pieces. 20, 40, 46. 56.
Yeah. Sounds a lot, but it's hard to come by. It's just handy to have it out if anyone pulls up. Two or three hits of this and it will knock them unconscious. I don't know how I've come across it. I don't know how I've got this many. Is it, yeah, like you say, it's, it's not the sort of thing you do see very often. Do I have... I do. I need to fix my knife up before I forget. One bit of equipment I haven't got. Another sewing kit. I could top up here. I don't have any water tabs. I'm not one for using wells outside of the coast. But because I have no tabs, I will. Um, it's a different character to that one. Let me get you. So it wasn't the guy that we robbed. But just as a heads up, Robin, if I get a direct order to do something, it's more than likely going to make me want to actually not do it. Bastard. It's it's all it's all in the wording. I understand like you want to just get something across and you want to get it across quickly. It's it's all it, it's some some of it's due to a, a, a text and TikTok generation of, of, of typing very short phrases and sometimes not even typing the words. I don't I don't, I don't want to call it lazy. It's just it's probably quite efficient. This idiot come in here. Absolute penis. Uh, no, I spawned in at Zelly and didn't fancy the tower. Hmm. 
Thank you, Jack. Thank you for the prime. We're still on ICQ. I'm on MRIC. But anyway, what I was saying is, don't feel like I'm picking on you, Robin, because I'm not. I'm going to use you as an example. If someone says to me, go to the well. If someone says to me, go to the shops. I'm going to say, no. If someone says to me, hey, there's a well in this town. You could perhaps use some water. I think, hey, that guy's being helpful. I'm going to go to the well and get some water. If someone says to me, hey, you're not going to go. You don't, you don't fancy going to the shops, do you? We need some bread. I'm going to get off my arse and walk to the shop and fetch some bread. too much stuff now I've been collecting things in this town that I didn't Ooh, that scream I had no intention of collecting these things but I've got them is that another thing I can have no nope. I want my bolts back, you pieces of shit. <laughs> Look at him in there, all pissed off. Tell you what, mate. How pissed off are you now? Okay, didn't work, did it? I don't think it's t I don't think it's fifty meters. Let me just try a retake on that one. Tell you what, mate, how pissed off are you now? Okay, that bit can go in the video. Put this bit out. hit him but didn't kill him I'm amazed
Oh! Don't make me jump like that. Why did they all bark in unison? sticking out of it. Is this some, like, taking some of the power out or something, going through this window? This is some sort of comedy show right now. clear off. That was funny. Right, where did all my bolts go? Have I been dumping them on the floor? Oh, Jesus Christ. You know what, bollocks to this. <gasps> I'll just go up here and I shall make some new ones. Well, Ted, I think Ted had spotted it earlier. Said it was in the wall. The problem is, Ted says things and they're not always to be taken seriously. Bongo says something, you stand up. Because it usually means there's something you need to know. Hi, hey, Drew. Is that what it is? Or have you just made that up? But one time, look, you, you were useful, and I took your information and attempted to use it, but I couldn't find what you were talking about, so I ignored you after that. But then Mongo said it. I don't know how I ended up with five bolts.
Of course, because of my inventory being in complete disarray. Can't pick them up. Just 33 months, true. It's official, trust me. The world is in disarray, but it's Wednesday, so I'm happy anyway. Hey. You know, it doesn't surprise me that that's an actual thing. Slaughter. Just eating some space into our inventory. Ah, oh, shit! I can't can't eat all this. The beans are left to go on the floor. If you sit around long enough, the wolves come back. That's what we've just learnt. Might only be one, though. Actually, it sounds like there's two separate walls, two separate howls. I don't want it to ruin any of my lovely uh, clothing. This guy's got it going on. It's, it's dripping that much, is almost a liquid. Not that deer stand. a bit much. Well, I got talked into the hat. I don't know. I, I can't recall who it was. We got an ASMR request. Dripping like a fuck to fridge. I can do that.
Like my nan's just kissed me cheek. That'd be a shocker for me, she's been dead 20 years. Probably more actually. I think these these wolves have intercepted someone else. I think. Hello, nerdy dad. Hey, slap man. Just a box standard um, vanilla daisy server. Nature of the game, daisy, means that I don't tend to give out the server details. Um, otherwise, people can come and track me down and kill me. It's vanilla though, yeah. Vanilla standard, straight out of the box, no frills. stats down the bottom here. Full apple. We're really close to Zelly, and we're really close to BMC. We're sort of half, well, halfway in between the two. Seems to be a lot of action going off over at Zelly earlier. Might be, might be an idea to go and have a look. Definitely takes me away from the wolves as well. Did it stop howling? So could be that they got on someone else. Never got my rangefinder. Should bugger. Just have landed on Zelly actually. Sounded like the town rather than the military though. Actually, I think that was too loud for it to be 
towards Ellie. I mean, well, that way. We'll see. I don't want anything from this military. I'm probably going a bit too close to it. EG. Good evening. Thank you for 84 months. You out of time. Oh, he's got a head torch on. In the middle of the night. I understand the head torch in the middle of the night. I thought he was post aggro then, but it's the look. Those sh those pallets made him look like he got his arms out. Old pallet arm over there. Karen. Oh shit, they're here. Just a single wolf, that one. No, he just sort of bounced me. I don't know how the deagle didn't want to happen. But then I don't know how those crossbow bolts didn't. Distinct lack of zombies down there. Oh, there's one.
think someone asked earlier what are these. Well, I don't know if I answered. I don't think I did. Bolts I'm using are improvised. So just a piece of wood off a tree like this, just a, a long stick, split into three, cut to sharpened, and then attached some chicken feathers, which I'm running low on. That's all that I've been using. They're quite effective. Accurate to probably 50 meters. I don't know what distance it was I shot that deer at. Probably about 30, 35. But I don't need anything more than this scope that I've got. It's overkill putting an ACOG on it. Expecting to reach much further. I mean, maybe the maybe the the ones that you can pick up in game have a bit more reach. I don't know. Glad they brought use in for the chickens rather than the meat. Just the meat. Yeah, you could um you could also have eggs in there, couldn't you? The amount of chickens that are orange and orange, you could just have a simple function where you search the coops. But I think the problem with that is you end up with the apple spam issue. I guess what they could do is you could just search it and search it once. Every time you search it after that, you get the same result. It's not like you could keep searching it until you get eggs. And then they could just increase the, the range of recipes. I think a lot of people will be happy with that. More diversity on what you can do with the food that you can find in. Prepare different stuff, have different buffs. They could do exactly that, yeah. Like that, like the apples currently spawn, all the, all the fruit and the veg spawn at the moment. Do the same. I I don't know. I guess they must have reasons why they don't do that. Does a dude just run across there, or a zombie? Still behind this bush. I think it might be a runner. Yeah, we got. Oh, it just singed out. Just disappeared. So that could put them at coming up here very soon.
Like, they could extract along my line. Easily. Such a good spot, though. Unless they saw the gun sticking out at the end. They'd like to see me. If that was in the military or not. Don't really make any sense why that zombie disappeared. Unless the person lost connection or something. You want to see a bit of TWT? Alright, let's go. I didn't really want to put this character up TWT, but, you know, we'll see. And we shall blame you, Lyman. I mean, this person might get spooked now they've shot the gun and just GTFO. Zombies down here. I don't think the shot was all the way over here, though. What's up, that tower? In generator. Oh, there goes. Oh shit, he's there in the train station. Shit. Hope he didn't see me. What bright red bastard hat on he has. I've seen him moving across here. Oh, it's a red backpack. Ooh, pink armband. Shoe, sir. plate carrier on. Could have shot him then. zombies running around over there I think we've got two that didn't look like a that didn't look like a a runner zombie that didn't
mate, his mate's in the PD, uh, in the train station. Oh shit, there's three of them. Yeah, I might want to get down, but they don't know where I shot from. They were all in the train station. They're all plated up as well. Oh, get shit at that scare the fuck out of me. See me actually jump. I can't take this fight close, not with a <laughs> not with a crossbow and a deagle against these ARs. So I'm gonna have to try and pick them off if I can. Yeah, I have got the grenade, but that kind of means me getting close. Kind of means me getting close again. I think if I'd have stayed up there, I'd have had another shot, you know. the Vickers, isn't it?
Yeah, it could do. I mean, I don't know. I think they've come out the other side, like train station side of the, the train track side of the of this building. It kind of puts me a bit close to them, though. That's what I fear with that. Hi, PD. I expected them to come out this side. With the guy getting shot the other side. Hello, Ike. <laughs> Tactical wage it is. They're, they're in the middle. I don't know what they're doing in the middle, but they're in the middle. Making a hell of a lot of noise. an indoor shot now. Onto the camo. I think they're on the other side now, like in the main area. Like Camo has a shot on this this guy where he was. So they might want to clear it, but Yeah, rushing them isn't an option. I've got a crossbow and a deagle. This guy is just set up for suppressed assassination. I 
I really did hope they would go into the camo though. They're really close to me. I don't know. I heard wooden footsteps. Footsteps on wood. I think it's the Vickers they've got. The guy's got a Vickers and an AK. Well, I couldn't move at the point where they were just outside and the zombies were screaming, but I could move now. I think I probably should.
maybe get up to the low walls and see if I see any export, uh, extract positions. It would appear to me they're not going to loot their, their guy. I don't know what all that shooting was about, whether it was posturing or what. Didn't really have much effect on me in, in regards to making me back off. Probably the, the opposite. Kind of told me whereabouts they were. Strike ends play. matter of five minutes ago I was in that house there Character's only, uh, it's only the second stream that I've run this character, so it's only like six hours, seven hours. But I got a lot done in the first. I'm trying to think if that's mine, it probably is. In the first few hours. I found a crossbow really early on and I managed to get two kills with it. I mean, all I can think here is they 
when we heard all that shooting, they were just the other side of the wall here. I was in this building, this end room here. We actually heard the zombies screaming from back here. And then the shots seemed to be coming from just the other side of the wall in the main bit of this compound. I, I, I just never got, never got good eyes on them, on the second group. Well, it's the same group, but the, the, the other two of the, of the three man. They scattered as soon as I shot that guy on top of the feeder shack. Uh, sorry, on top of the kiosk. It just scattered. Uh, well, crossbows could spawn in in um, civilian, so any townhouse could spawn it. But the most likely place to get in one is hunting or castle. And early game, they're just such a Such a sweet thing to have to save you having to deal with the zombies. Just one tap in every single one. Except for some of the military ones, you have to hit more often, but or more than once. Um, well, I think we played that okay. The fact that I'm still on the server with a character tells me that we didn't misplay it. I might have underplayed it a bit. I think I, I may have had another two or three minutes up that tower. And one free shot at one of them. If I got them down to one, then that's a different thing. They ain't going to be running around all ballsy, shooting their ARs. That's okay. It's daft, isn't it? You say you've got 350 hours. 350 hours in a lot of games, you'd have completed them and uninstalled them. Easy, you're just getting started. It could be argued that I was playing that. I did play that a bit cautious, but uh, for those that don't know, this character is just running suppressed stuff, and the crossbow is a primary. So if I want to make things work, I kind of, I kind of have to do it quietly from a distance, or get a, a real good jump on someone. They dipped out and went Mishkino. I mean, if they're a three man, they could be going back to the coast to fetch their third. Well, 
Well, the, the, no, the tower side of it is not. <laughs> that's not cautious play at all. Shooting someone, jumping off the tower, and running away is quite cautious. But yeah, I, I, I get what you mean. problem at all Billy. Happy to be shifting daisy units. Put your PC together and it didn't turn on. Very sad right now. Stricken to the very bare bones. Start from the ground up. Motherboard, one stick of memory, processor, if it's got onboard graphics, don't even plug a graphics card in. Obviously, plug your PSU in. And it, sometimes it's even worth doing that outside the case. Need to get a water bottle. Only got one guy on the. S Ooh, look at that Winchester. Sat there, emptying. Badly damaged though. I think I'm going to go to Pustoshka and try and get, get a water bottle. I could loot in and around those those bits there, but it's more zombies than I care to deal with. See you, DM. Catch you later. here a little bit I can look for the convoy. Imagine I don't need anything from a convoy. I'm doing that out of instinct. Out of habit. Might be players at it, yeah. I'd like to be players at a crash site though I suppose. Or the crash site came down after well whilst they were shooting their guns off. Maybe they went off to check that. Like, you tell me, those blaze lovers, you blaze enjoyers out there, and they just saw that particular encounter where I'm on top of a tower in Zelly, and three heavily geared dudes, at the time I only knew there was one, I shoot him, suppressed, shoot, knocked him unconscious, shoot him again, kill him, and then his two friends come out of the train station not more than 50 metres away, 
without a clue where I've shot from. If I'm shooting a blaze in that, in in that encounter, I'm dead. Or I'm likely to be dead because they know exactly where the where the shots come from. They don't know the up and down, but they could soon figure that out. Water bottle. Water bottle. It's become a parody, though, hasn't it? I find that I say it even more, like. I'm supposed to say it. If I'm from England. Or if I'm from London, really. Because the only part of England that exists to a lot of other countries is London. And everyone talks like that. A fucking Autobot, ain't it? Brav. I think we can lose these now. No real good place to look at this town. You just have to go in and open. My extensive research, research, research has shown me. This is Sean Connery for a moment. Um, that sheds in these little garages are the best place to get a water bottle. Hmm. Well, can't expect it to fall on your lap. Why is that? Why is that house shut? And all around are open. reason. Uh, you're going to want some gamma, so I'll do that. I'll put my own bit of gamma on as well, just give me a second. I like. I know they nerfed it. The blaze. But I don't know of its power. It still doesn't alter the fact that it's, you know, even if it one taps, it makes a lot of noise. Can you? Uh. 
There's a pig making a squeaking noise. Being chased. I don't know which window you mean. Back window? Oh yeah. Um, I still haven't finished my other stuff, so I don't think I'm going to bother with it. I should, I should do the houses as well. I mean, there's a chance it can spawn in there. And I can also get my deagle mic. Solve the problem with the uh, zombies, isn't it? Get them right out of my way. Hello again, nerdy dad. Oh, yeah. Range finder, baby. I'll be able to find them ranges. Right, we're going to have to go number eight, isn't it? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not really that great at range finding. I know my limits. Oh, these things often have deagle mags in them. Shit, it's gone over so dark. Holy server! Um, connection. I nearly had time. I nearly had time to take a second shot. After thinking, hold on a minute, that should have hit.
Yeah, but look at this. It was just, a, you know, it's, it's spiking. That's what it's doing. Like, moving stuff inside the inventory. Happening immediately. That's a, that's a sure, sure, sure sign of a server underperforming if that takes a long time to move from one place to another. Along with the doors. It used to be that you could, um... You could ADS to see how, how long it took. But now it kind of... I don't know, it, it doesn't make any difference to the server performance. It must be client-side somehow. I don't know. I can't pretend to know. I've been in here. Uh, yeah. It was good those pigs sent all the zombies off into the woods or into the fields. But out of my way anyway. Ever play vanilla servers mostly, ever play modded? I see Molly's answered that. But yeah. Mainly mainly vanilla. I prefer the vanilla straight up easy experience. Even lightly modded servers that like the day one server. I used to play on that a lot and I went to play on it again just recently. And they'd made changes to it I didn't like. I think the problem, like I've said before, the problem with modded servers is you're playing what's popular at the time, or what is someone else's vision of how Daisy should be. I'm not, I'm not trying to knock mods here by saying that they devalue or ruin the experience of Daisy. I don't think they do. In many, in many cases, for those that are using those mods, they're enjoying them. They're having fun. That's just the main thing. But for me, I prefer to just... <laughs> like, it's the, the game's quite rich as it is. Where did that go? Okay, we're running out of space again. I get some. But I think, you know, like I say, it, the, the daisy experience that you want is likely out there. And not everyone wants the same thing. And that's the beauty of the modding community and modded servers. And those people that provide those servers. The, the diverse, diversity and the, the, the uh, experience can differ just a case of finding somewhere that you you're happy with oh shit what what bruv That's, you see, that's the, that's the thing. You say vanilla guns are quite boring. The thing that I don't like about the modded servers is is the uh, amount of different weapons there are and the amount of different variants of ammo. So, a, a, a perfect example of how two people prefer to play DayZ based on... 
just one item. You know, that could put me off a server completely. Whereas you could you could actually probably say, oh, like that server. But like I say, it's a perfect example. Oh, you're stupid. There we go. Solve that. Oh, I missed the bit where it said sites. Sorry. I mean, the example still holds up, even though it wasn't what you were talking about. I don't mind the sites so much. They don't. They don't. Certainly don't. It's not like you're going to pick a site up and go, "Oh my god!" Now, I, now I've got to find a gun that takes this type of ammo. I think, I think the problem is with with so many different types of ammo. And so many different guns. Sometimes putting a matched pair together is, you know, it's even more difficult. No scopes. I I don't mind those at all. Well, modern maps doesn't alter the the, the base the, the core of the game. I think what what um, Itaru had done with the with the map design and and the way that that was progressing was really good. And then, unfortunately. Unfortunately for me, in the latest edition, they've they've decided that there should be a load more uh, guns native to the to the area, and put an absolute shit ton of guns on it, and that's what I kind of enjoyed about Itaru. It was it was it was like vanilla, but on a on a fresh environment. But you know, I can't, I kind of get it. Like having run a server before and tinkered with Daisy and mods. It's very easy to just not know when, when you've hit the hit the limit and you you you've got the sweet spot. Someone like you forever looking on, you could be forever looking on the the, the workshop store, thinking, oh, you know, do I want talking pigeons? And at that point, you realise you've probably gone too far. Brightness, it's gone ever so dark. I guess we're going to have VMC. Really did want to get a water bottle though. I didn't do the other other side. I only came down one side here. Hi, bad daddy. I mean, it's, it's difficult, isn't it, if you run a server, is to know, I mean, know who to listen to. Oh, I, I, I wouldn't envy anyone to be running a popular server, trying to keep a balance, because there'll be always, there'll always be people don't agree with what your decisions are and there will be opinions that differ as well it's, it's just 
it seems very difficult to me. I see movement up there then. Yeah, loadout is it's basically a a, a silent loadout. So primary is crossbow. With this combat site. This really is the primary, though, I suppose. The Deagle. And then number four. Look at those lights when the grass goes in front of them. Playing Space Invaders. Oh no, Fatty's rolling. That's the spaceship across the top. Um, and then number four, number five. There's the Winchester. But I've only got one shot left on this, and that's what I've been looking for. Oh shit, the pig's out. No, it's the boar. Who set the boar going? He was over there a minute ago. I mean, I don't think it's a zombie, because I think a zombie continues to chase. Mind you, the boar can outrun the zombie. Those are all my guns. Crossbow, Deagle, Black, and Winchester. Or Tundra. Yeah, but he looked like he was on the move, if you know what I mean. Like, someone had unsettled him. I think I dicked around for long enough. I probably should move on. I'm a bit reluctant without having this water bottle. Toby for powder. Some normality. I'm 
should have hit the beaches. Got backpacks and stuff around here. What, on the YouTube chat? I have been known to send people to sleep. There is a possibility it's happened. You know, whilst looking for the water bottle, I have turned up the range finder. Would be a decent place to have a base, wouldn't it? Because that's walled off. I don't want to get in there. You could just put 15 rows of wood. JD. Are we, are we sticking with this, right? I need a decision. Does this look better because it's gnarly? Blue and blue, true. It seems it's an all round keep the blue. No, I'm not, I won't be switching to a plate. This is fine for me. He's been that extra bit of stamina and a bit more mobility. She's charging around the field like she's been let out for the day. They make that noise like you go prone. And reset them. Mongo taught me this. If it doesn't work, it's, it's his fault. It has worked. So normally I'd have had to deal with that. But now that zombie's been reset. This one. Not.
managing to sustain the old full apple. We could have a little squeak into Vibor here. Just just the tip. Just have a quick poke. Under the cover of night. My straight bandit. No, I normally talk to people, but when we're in this sort of deep in the map and committed to a character, I, I'm unlikely to talk to someone unless they're in an outdoor shitter taking a crap. My voice turned off. He ain't talking, he's got his gun out. I don't think I have got my VoIP off. I think it put it back on, you know. I didn't. Will they hear me? If I've got my VoIP off, will they hear me? these guys that they, they didn't come charging at me there was two of them they could have they could have really caused me some trouble I could test it I suppose like options audio now it's moving up and down with it moving up and down it's still moving up and down That's that battle royale I played last night. I turned the VoIP off. Got to put it back on. I mean, th the gun definitely came out as I turned and ran, but there was no shots fired.
I could try finding them. And talk to them now, but... A bit of a risk. I really don't feel like killing them. When the guy when the guy got his gun out as I turned to run. And then I came through the alleyway to look down to see if they were still following. I had my blade uh, my Winchester out. I would have shot. Because then I felt under under threat. I mean, they're going to go to the PD, aren't they? If they couldn't hear me, yeah, absolutely. If they couldn't hear a single word I said, I just stood there looking stupid, turned and ran. Well, one guy had the... he had a crossbow. One of them did. Yeah, the PD, I can't get a good eye on it. It's just, it, in fact, it's here now. I wanted to get an angle so I could see the top of it. But it's no, there's no cover, so I can't stay there. Could be they're not comfortable with coming in and looting now. They might have moved off to Pustoshka up there. Got someone up the scaffold in them, but it's that building glitching.
And Toby chased a guy in a ghillie through here once. What happens in Viable? I remember being here and a guy comes steaming past just to tooting his horn. In a car, obviously. He didn't have an erection. Yeah, but I mean, towns are where a lot of people are drawn to for obviously for their loot, and it's where you'll get interaction. I mean, I was I was just on the very edges there, not intending to come into this town. Just looking for a water bottle, and uh, two two guys rocked up on me. I mean. not ideal, especially as I couldn't interact. Hmm. I feel like I would have seen them. They could be looting off to the sides, I suppose, but... Hi, Ryland. Yeah, it's going all right. Had some happenings. Some excitement. Some tension. I was just looking at the second monitor and all of a sudden something comes past me and it's that stick. I could see it on OBS, I wasn't watching it on the main screen. I think I'm going to leave. I came around to see if we could see them, and I can't, so... Thank you for the gifted sub, Ryland. Time sub. I don't know how you tell that on YouTube. I certainly don't get any stats. Or if I do, I don't know where to look for them. Um, well, I don't, I don't like that we've got this weather, because I want to be going somewhere where I can scope in and look at uh, targets from a distance. But I can't change that.
Do you like Ziggy? Seen so many um, sewing kits. Yeah, it's why why you're hearing me saying stuff that you probably can't fathom out because I'm saying it to dual chats. That goes for both sides, YouTube and Twitch. You hear me waffling about something? It's because I'm answering someone on one of the other streams. It was quite uh, good timing that was for those two people to turn up and you just you just asked the question whether or not I play Bandit or not and I said well when I'm this far in the map and this invested in the character I'm unlikely to talk to someone and then two people appeared right in front of me I, I, you know, but I also said that I do normally speak to people I felt there with it being two and me not knowing what their gear set was like I didn't make it, I didn't make the, uh, I just couldn't make that links immediately. But trying to talk was the best thing to do. Jacket. Salute. Ooh. I, I'm fixing it. I just realised. I'm not fixing this on purpose because I want the battered look. Gifted sub, thank you, Rylan. Thank you very much. I do feel a little bit um, gimped, I suppose. I was trying to think of another word. I, I, I think I used that word too much. Hamstrung. By the fact I've only got one shot. Jesus Christ, that bush. With its own little impression of a ghillie. Oh. Are you alright with that brightness off? Or do you want it back on? That's it off, that's it on.
<laughs> yeah, it's, it might start looking a bit fake otherwise, as it gets brighter. all over the place. I've been looking for probably an hour now for a water bottle to make a suppressor. So I think it's time to extract one from someone. There's no strange rules now. I think on the YouTube side of things go a bit easy on the swearing, not that you've seen you swear. Um, no politics, religion, gun talk. As in the as in the rights and wrongs of gun laws. But you know, just basic stuff really that any outside of the, the discussion on politics and religion and all the other things that you don't really want in a stream. The rest of the rules that are within the stream chat are just common sense. But fortunately, a good 90-95% of people don't need to be told them. Uh, well, I think it's brightened up now, so it should be, everyone should be good. seen some streamers with whack rules well I guess it's it's up to the person that's streaming if they if they've got an audience and they've got rules then the way the way it goes is that 
The person that's viewing is a guest in the house of the person that's streaming. And if they don't like the rules, then they don't have to be there. I'm not saying that to be an arsehole. But I've also seen people in stream chat saying, I've got freedom of speech. Well, no, you haven't. <laughs> so, you know, it kind of works both ways, I suppose. And I can't work my gamma out here. I keep getting brighter, darker. I'll just set it on something. I'll just turn that off. That's behind me on the airfield, I think. But I can't turn that off. It's too dark. Holy shit. Yeah, that is definitely a bit strange. I know I know some streamers in chats have have a sort of quite a strange relationship that some some streamers actively rip the piss out of their chat and like it to happen back to them. But I think there's a danger with that in that not knowing where the line is. I don't think we're going to have it for much longer, rain. Did it actually, it didn't, did we have a full-on thunderstorm? I think we did. So it could tilt that way, I hope not. It certainly looks like the sun wants to come out. I could do with going making a drink. Like it's two o'clock nearly. I'm doing quite well at, uh, not actually taking a break during a stream. Not that I'm actually not that I'm trying. It's not it's not something I'm <laughs> Where can we I'm gonna have to go this way to be able to go somewhere to hide to be able to make a drink. Bible. I stopped talking, so I thought I saw something in there. Then I wonder where the Bible boys went.
it looked like they were chasing, didn't it? At, at, at one point, the guy got his gun out and just came towards me. Or followed me. I mean, you flip that round the other way, and I, I'm with Toby, and I start talking to someone, and they they don't say anything, and then all of a sudden they just go, "I'm off." I start running. I, I probably would shoot them because I would think, well, that's a, that's a little bit rude. We have the numerical advantage here. Saw a video of a streamer clear out two or three guys here. Must have been a pro dude to take on that sort of amount of people. See a loop. I think I should, um, I think I should play voice over IP roulette. I'll get my missus to come in here and either turn the VoIP on or off and I won't know before I play. Because it does seem to lead to some interesting encounters. Right, I'm going to make a drink. Hopefully we're safe. I'll be back in a moment. Are you fully recovered, Mongo? How long? How long you had to have off? Right, are we going to be able to see from our spot across to the tents? I think we're probably not.
Interesting, some improvised shoes there. Foot wraps. I need repairing. They're not as well. The, the 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 rules or advisories on COVID are not as strict now, are they? to get this clothing squeezed off because I don't want to be cold. You burn through your resources way too fast. So, get off this main road and squeeze one out in the bush. Good to have you here. I, I stream um, 10 o'clock through till 3 on YouTube. Four days usually. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. No. Not always on a Tuesday. <laughs> my, stream t my stream schedule is Tuesday to Saturday. Sunday, Monday off. But sometimes YouTube has to buy an extra day because I often release a video on Tuesday and if I do then I don't stream. That'll be uh, GMT. So to give you an idea it's two o'clock in the morning for me now. How did you break the motherboard? Boon. I mean, how, do you, how have you diagnosed that you've broken the motherboard? Is there physical damage to it?
Right, does that fix me? Surely. There's no one over there, by the look of it. Again, Nosa. I might as well go over here. I had no tell that there's someone over there, but... I've stopped getting cold now. That's good. Yeah, well, I think with COVID now, it's the strain is not as strong, is it? For one and for two, the those that have, have gone for it have taken taken the sting out of it by having vaccines. But we're not going to get onto those. <laughs> that is a subject you don't touch with a barge pole. Anyone want to see the Novi to Cabernino bird's nest? Well, there you go. Some will have seen it because I often point it out. Some won't. Not maybe it's starry to Cabernino even. Brilliant, in it, in it. Oh, bird's nest, brilliant.
That bird just talking to birds and ambient sounds. Did that bird just stop tweeting mid tweet? And you just like it. And the paranoia sets in. We've had a bit of a ride today. What were the guys in Viable, the two man and the three man in Zelly? Yeah, well they have they have a um, they have a radius. So if a bird tweets in that tree there, and someone shoots a shot within, I think it's five hundred meters, might be more than that. So if it's above 150 and it's suppressed, the bird hears it and shuts up. Um, it, obviously, if it's not suppressed, you hear it, so you don't really care. But the bird shut up is what I mean. Hi, Rich. Yeah, I have to, I have to say in Daisy, if if it's the uh, especially with a map like Chinaris that's so big. And if you play for a prolonged period of time, you do a three, four, five hour session and you've not seen anyone, not had any contacts. And you, you, there's, there's no way you can stay alert to the same level that you were when you started out. And you start feeling like, well, look at that lovely tree or look at that lovely sunset. The guard goes down. Bang, you get the screen. You're on the coast. sister there's a little tip from this position to the medical center there is 400 meters which is outside of the radius that they spawn so you won't spawn zombies up here but if someone's in the town they will Now that's all dependent on you coming onto this hill and spending any length of time on it because it's a dangerous place to be. Go and have a look at Novi. We'll go the, we'll go the pretty route.
Now, several hours ago, someone asked me, or someone mentioned that they play this game exclusively offline. Well, with friends, in a on a private server. I wonder if that person's still here. I'd be amazed if you are. Best part of Daisy is the start and also trying to find the gear. Yeah, I'm, once geared, it is, it is... If you're not into base building, if you're not into getting a car going, if you've not got a group to roll with and, and gun... Lock down Tizzy or another military area. As a solo player, it, it, you kind of got to make your own fun. Which is what I've done with this character. I'm, I'm running only suppressed. No... Mad crazy ARs as a primary, just a crossbow. Challenging myself really, and still doing the same sort of stuff that I would do if I had a had all the toys. How close do you have to be for the zombies to appear? Server files say 300 meters, but they they spawn. They have a radius of spawn, so you have to factor in some extra distance. I found that 400 meters is a acceptable distance. Uh, uh, hey, is that a water bottle we can take? Yes, it is. The 400 meters. Got a new suppressor. It's going well. I've, uh, yeah, it's been a decent day. I mean, like, when I play a character that's got gear, it goes back to what was just said about the fact that the looting up process in Daisy and, and the, the early stages are often more fun than when you're fully geared. It's often why I like to play a character, run a character on stream from the start. As a freshborn, there's so many, there's so many more opportunities for stuff to happen. There's a bit of coastal stupidity that can, can be happen into some mid-map shenanigans, into northwest firefights or snipe-offs, you know. So I'm always a little bit reluctant to run a character like this that's pretty much sorted. But this one was a bit different, because I did have quite a few bits I still needed to get. Right, well, with four free shots on the Winchester now. I had a chance of an AK, I turned it down because I want to run just suppressed on this. So this character's didn't have a suppressor for it and I wanted to keep the crossbow. I should think I'll get shot very much on purpose wearing an orange high vis vest. There we go.
Long range scope. Isn't it? <laughs> the amount of times I'm looking for scopes. Never one sat in a deer stand like that. Game loses a whole lot if you don't have to worry about getting shot in the face. Is that reference to the people that are playing on a private server? They just started out though. I, I suggest that when you start out playing DayZ, you play on official. Zero or very low pop. Just so you get used to the... You know, like... Get 50 hours under your belt. Before you start getting punched in the face. my favourite kit. Anything that works around this Winchester. Winchester's the the main part of any kit that I have. Because the Winchester's important, spend t more time looking around hunting areas to get the combination going. When I've got it going, I don't want to lose it, so I don't tend to go into military areas. I'll, I'll, I'll scope, scope them and shoot into them and fight in and around them, but not go in to loot them. So what's, what I've got in my, in my main hand doesn't really matter. It, more often than not, it's a it's a shotgun, and if I haven't got a shotty, or if I've upgraded the shotty, it will only be to something like an SKS. Um, unless I'm playing with Toby, when we often do Mishkino, we'll run Mishkino and sometimes get a lucky AR there. It really doesn't bother me. I'm not so good at close quarters, so don't waste the good stuff on me. that new Vickers gun, that is an absolute... I, like, I, when they first announced it, I was like, oh, well, do we really need that? <laughs> you know, is, what place does that have? When you get to use it, I've been using... I've been playing some Battle Royale. So I got opportunity of using it on that. It's a really nice gun to use. It's not. It's not that easy to come by. I mean, the, the um, actually, I actually stumbled over one the other day. Someone had probably killed someone and didn't want to take the gun with them. Just found it lying there with two thirty-round mags. Never got to shoot it. So I got killed soon after, surprisingly. But yeah, I've used it on the battle royale mod. If you haven't played that. That's that is that is a place to go. And sharpen your PvP skills and get to use a lot of guns that you might otherwise struggle to you to get hold of. The DMR. Toby loves the DMR. I think it's I think it's great. I, I think I think the DMR is great, but here's where I would differ on most people. 
I prefer it as a close quarters gun. It's got amazing stopping power, and and you just got you know it'll work as fast as you can click it. I know I never use it, or I would always switch to a to a Winchester for a, for a, an accurate one tap shot. And I only tend to take like seventy percent plus shots anyway. I think like the, the the DMR wins if a guy runs across this field here in front of me. And I can go pink, 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 or no, I suppose it would be chugger, 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 wouldn't it? Because it's a, it's a loud ass thing. Whereas if there's a guy in that building there, and he stands still, five seconds, then I'm, I'm taking the, I'm taking the Winchester shot every day. I get an answer. The silent character is still kicking, yeah. We've met uh, met a squad of three today and a squad of two. We're still going. Oh, hello. I didn't spawn these in. I'm expecting to see zombies in here now. There we go. Right. We might get someone going in the PD, so I kind of need to get ranging on that. Should be 600. That's why you use a rangefinder. Actually, 500. One of the problems with this hill is the uh, area behind me will be littered with mushrooms after about, well, 10 minutes of sitting here. Prone sniping's great, so long as your horizontal line is level. That horizontal line's off, then the shot will be off. But prone overwatching is far, far easier than pro than crouched overwatching. You're a, you're a smaller profile for one, so in, um, in theory you should be harder to hit and harder to see. But you don't get the same sway as if you if you if you crouch. Um, but yeah, that's what you just really have to watch for that left and right, the horizontal. Grass is annoying, so you're never prone. What what's even more annoying is the fact that this grass doesn't get rendered beyond about three hundred meters. So it's it's only annoying to me. To anyone looking, I'm just laid on the I'm laid on a 
cricket pitch, basically. I think the zombies might have gone. Oh. <laughs> All right, okay. We'll give it a few minutes and that'll come server will come back up. You're disappointed by the lack of super zooms. <laughs> there you go. Have a super zoom on her maps. She's got her maps out. To quote, uh, who was it? Who said that? No, no, no. I was surprised. Enchanter, maybe. Could have been Mampy. But leave the overlay up for the rest of the stream. I think you're probably overestimating estimating the amount of people that have fallen asleep. Chill out, bad daddy. Drop in any time. It's good to have chatty people in. As much as the lurkers don't feel left out. Page in Mampy, page in Mampy. Mampy to aisle three. There's a pair of maps to you for you to look at. Right, we're going in. See, the problem is with super zoom on a zoomed in fully scoped target it looks, makes you feel like you're on a 
particularly boisterous sea whilst you're on a boat. You see that footage in, uh, is it in Taiwan? Was it, that was it, where they had the earthquake? There's a guy on top of a rooftop pool and it looks like it's got a wave machine. Unbelievable. He's just like, oh, I don't care. This building's safe. I got see. Still not well. You have my permission to get well. He did, yeah. He looked like he did not give a shit. That just shows how well the buildings are over there, I suppose. He's <laughs> probably sat there thinking, I'm getting one of these bastards fitted after this is uh, over. I mean, we have to give the people time to get onto the server. I was pretty much the first one on, but I think the zombies are gone already. And I think the person might be over in Starry. Oh, we can see it. Wow. I wonder if it reset all the shrooms behind me. Server restart. I don't think there is anyone in Starry. I think we'd see... Ah, oh, actually. It's the hill beyond this that the zombies would be creeping up. Not this one. Hmm. Well, I think what we could do is we just put this guy in the trees and say we'll continue another day. Because this is a good starting point. Novi on to Starry. I'm not seeing anyone around, so we'll do that. You're livid, Rag. Why is that? Oh. Park up here. Catch you lot tomorrow, I hope. Thank you very much for coming along. I do appreciate the company. And uh there's a there's a video out came out yesterday on YouTube if you want to watch that if you haven't seen it yet. Just some highlights of uh recent encounters, some good stuff in there. Feel free to go and give that a watch and hope to see you tomorrow. Good night.